keep watching if you want to learn how to make this crochet mass extender. Okay, the supplies you're going to need is just regular yarn, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a yarn needle, a stitch marker, two buttons. I use these buttons because they have a big loop on the back. And this is the type of mask that I'm trying to extend. Now let's get started. Taking your 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, you're going to chain 15. Okay, for row one, starting in the second chain from the hook, we're going to single crochet in each of the next 13 chains. And when you get to the end of the row, you should have one chain left. And you're going to do three single crochets in that chain. Now that's going to cause your work to move to the other side of the chain. And so on that other side of the chain, there's these little bumps there. You're gonna crochet into those bumps now. Now on the other side of this chain, we're going to single crochet in each of the next 12 chains. And then by that point, you should have one more chain left over. So by this point, you should be able to see that you have one more chain bump left over there. See that? So now from this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do two single crochets in that last chain bump. And what that's doing is causing it so that you have two single crochets there, but it's really actually three. And then it's going to match this side to the other side. For row number two, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be working in this stitch here. You are going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. But please be sure to put your little stitch marker in there so that you know where to stop at the end of your row. After you've done your two single crochets in your first stitch, then you're gonna do one single crochet in the next 12 stitches. Now to keep this little rounded edge we have going on here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two single crochets in each of the next three stitches. Now to work on this little flat edge here, we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. Mm -hmm. 
Now we arrived back at our other rounded edge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do two single crochets in the last two stitches. And this is what it should start to look like. For row number three, what we're gonna do is, working in that first stitch where our stitch marker is, we're gonna be doing two single crochets in the next two stitches. Just make sure you put your sti stitch marker back into your first stitch. Now to continue on our flat edge, we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. Now we've arrived at our rounded edge here and so what we're gonna do is, to keep that rounded look, we are going to do two single crochets in each of the next four stitches. So now our rounded edge is done. Now we're gonna be working on the flat edge. And to do that, we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches. Now you should have two single crochets left until you get to your marker. And what you're gonna do is two single crochets in those last two stitches left. Now if it's starting to look like this, then you're in business. Let's move on to row number four. All right, for row number four, you are going to do two single crochets in each of the next three stitches, and then you're gonna make sure you put your stitch marker in your first stitch. Now working on our flat edge, we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches. Now for our rounded edge, we're gonna do two single crochets in each of the next six stitches. Now for our flat edge, we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next 17 stitches. Now you should have three stitches left, and in those three stitches, you're gonna do two single crochets in each one of them. Now 
Now this is what we should start to look like. Now let's do row number five. Row number five is simple. All you have to do is just do an even single crochet. There's no increases or anything. Everything should be even single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Just make sure you put your stitch marker in to make sure you know where your first stitch is. So now this is what it should start to look like. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stitch marker out cause we don't need it anymore. And we're going to do a slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. And then once we do that, we are gonna cut the yarn and then we're gonna sew it in. Now let's sew our buttons on very tightly because you're gonna be pulling and tugging on them. You don't want it to pop out and otherwise it would be useless. So make sure you put your buttons on tightly. Now here's our finished face mask extender. So now let me show you how to put it on. The reason why I wanted to make this mask extender was because usually I wear uh, scarves and things that cover my ears. So it's kind of hard for me to put things behind my ears like a mask. So I decided to do this extender thing. So you're just gonna take one side, connect it to the button, make sure the buttons are facing up, and then you're gonna pop the other side onto the button. The good thing about this particular face mask extender is it doesn't touch your ears very much. And also because of the fact that um, when you're just going, getting in and out of the car, you're not gonna be driving around with a mask on your face. There's nothing to protect anybody from. So you could just take it and pull it down every now and again, but it can always stay connected to your head. Yeah, this is not a PSA or anything, but you know, we just wanna make sure that we are wearing our masks as comfortably as possible, making sure that we're protecting ourselves and most of all protecting other people because we don't know if we have it or not. So all it is, let's just make this in order to make our mask wearing saga as comfortable as possible. And as usual, and as always, thank you so much for watching and please keep safe. Oh, and if you like my videos or even me for that matter, give this video a like, share it with your friends and subscribe. Also make sure to check out some of my crochet patterns, my crochet products, and some of my DIY products. All the links are located in the description box below. Links to my merch is located at the top of this video. I really, really appreciate all the support.
And like I said before, stay safe and thank you for watching.